Hi, I'm Jasmine Guillory, author of The Proposal. I'm going to have to go with Toni Morrison. She is, I think, just one of the, the greatest American writers we've ever had. Um, her work has stood the test of time for so many years. She's still writing. She's still inspiring so many of us. Um, and I just look, I haven't read all of her books yet because I, there's some of them and I just want to save for a rainy day. Um, so I still have something to look forward to. I think I put a lot of myself into them. Um, all of my characters have at least one or two qualities that are very much like me. Um, sometimes actually they're the very opposite of me, but in that in that way, I'm putting myself into the character because I tend to understand someone who is the opposite of me um, in those ways because I often look to those people like, wow, how can you do it like that? So I think either if they're um, they're really close to me or in many ways really different, it, it is all a, a big part of me that goes into those characters. I tend to write at night. Um, I have tried so hard to become a person who wakes up in the morning and can write, and that is just not who I've ever been. I tend to, um, somewhere between nine and 11 o'clock at night is when I sit down and get writing done. And often in ways that helps me too, because for a while after that, as I'm getting ready for bed, as I'm kind of in that zone between awake and asleep, I have inspiration because the, my characters and my story have all been in my mind. Um, I have to then force myself to wake up and write it down so I don't forget it the next morning though. My favorite part of the proposal is there's a there's a scene sort of towards the maybe two thirds of the way into the book um, that is all about enchiladas and I will say that this is something very key and painful um, happens to one of the main characters in that scene which is something that happened exactly like that to me um, though there was not a cute man there there was my mom and sister but I re I've always sort of wanted to turn that scene into fiction so I'm delighted that I got to and I hope it is as funny for people reading it as it is for me thinking about it later not at the time.